Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video we are going to be going back in to the discussion of the Celestica people and everything that we learned about in Pokemon Legends Arceus. But building off of the last video, I wanted to talk about what a Legends Johto game might look like, what things we might learn about the Celestica people and the lore of this region, and how we might see Kanto brought into the mix as well. But before we get into that discussion, I wanted to mention that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. For those who don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. Have a specific skill you're trying to learn? Skillshare is the perfect place to start. From photography and illustration to graphic design, freelancing and more, you can find classes that will match your goals and interests. It's also an excellent way to invest in yourself and your own personal growth. Interested in video creation, mastering social media use for marketing, or for personal growth? Skillshare has courses that would be perfect for helping you learn new and exciting things about them all. Personally, I've been learning a lot from MKBHD's course on YouTube success via scripting, shooting, and editing. MKBHD's lessons have been pivotal in expanding this channel and bringing you guys more interesting content. So if you're an up-and-coming creator and you're interested in expanding your repertoire and bringing more interesting videos to your viewers, I cannot recommend this class enough. It teaches the essentials, but also provides a more in-depth analysis of things that different creators can do to improve their content. If you're interested, head down to the description below because the first 1,000 people who use the link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So this has turned into a little bit of a series now. If you did not see my most recent video talking about the Celestica people, their connections to the Hisui region, the modern day Sinnoh, and of course Johto, which is going to be the topic of today's video, I will link it in a card in the corner. You can go check that out, but don't check that out before watching the rest of this video, unless you haven't seen it yet. In that case, go watch that one then come back and watch this one. But the Johto region is one of the more ancient regions in the Pokemon world. There is a lot of lore from various parts of the Pokemon world, which talks about people migrating from Johto. We have speculated in previous videos about the Celestica people and about the people who inhabit Sinnoh as part of the Diamond and Pearl clan that they came from Johto. While I believe it is much more likely that they came from the mountainous region between Johto and Sinnoh in the modern times known as Sinjo, I think that Johto Johto is also very much a possibility. Johto is also where many settlers of the Alola region came from. In some of the flavor texts that we see in Pokemon Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, we hear about the settlers of various towns in the Alola region coming from regions such as Kanto and Johto. This could be because Alola is close to the Kanto and Johto regions. We see that Lily travels to the Kanto region at the end of those games, so you can surmise that these regions are decently close to one another. We also get Ash's Greninja in these games, and Ash's connections to Kanto are obvious. So to, the idea that Alola and other regions like it are close to Kanto and Johto is obvious. That also means, though, that they are close to the Sinnoh region. As I mentioned in the previous video, these three regions are all part of the same continent. In the real world, they all take inspiration from different geographic locations on the islands of Japan, so it makes sense that in-game, in the in-game canon, they are also close to one another. The Sinjo ruins are where the Celestica people are from, in my opinion, and I think that if and when we do get a Legends Johto game, I don't think it'll be called Legends Johto, but something similar, I think we're going to see more writings of ancient peoples of the region, whatever the Johto region is called in ancient times, talking about where their descendants are from. And if I had to do a little speculation, putting on my, my, my tinfoil hat for a moment and getting a little all conspiracy on everybody, I would have to imagine that the people of Johto and then eventually the people who migrated into the Kanto region are also from Sinjo. What we've seen in Sinjo is more ancient than anything else in the Pokemon world up to this point. We do have ancient ruins in the Johto region, namely the ruins of Alf. The people's connection to Unknown is obvious in those games. Unknown makes up the fabric of the Johto region. The ability to catch all of the letters of the Unknown started in Generation 2. So there are ancient locations in the Johto region. But the temple dedicated to Arceus and dedicated to the trio that Arceus gives off, Diaga, Palhia, and Giratina, is located in Sinjo. 
Maybe Sinjo shares relations between these two regions. The people of Sinjo migrated north and eventually became the Diamond and Pearl Clan and the people who inhabit Celestic Town in modern day Pokemon Diamond, Pearl and Platinum. But maybe a group of those people also went south into the Johto region, discovered new information about the unknown and the unknown's connection to Arceus, which is something that the Pokemon community has speculated upon for years and years, going back to the third Pokemon movie. Maybe all of these people are one in the same, and maybe this hint at more lore for the Celestica people is a hint at future Legends games. Now, before going further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. And check out the join tab, see if the perks interest you, and if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me, that is also always greatly appreciated. I think the Celestica people and their existence in Sinjo is a hint at future Legends games. I am very confident, as are many Poketubers who have made videos about this in the recent months, that the Legends franchise under the Pokemon franchise is one that is going to continue. I don't think it's just a test like Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee were by Game Freak to test out the Switch hardware for their eventual Generation 8 games, Sword and Shield. I think this is a different beast. And I think the Johto region, while some might say the Unova region being next in line is more likely, Johto is a prime candidate to return to. I don't think it'll be called Johto. I think they'll continue to take the tradition from Legends Arceus and apply it to these previous regions. And I think you can get away with it with the speculation that the original inhabitants of the Johto region also came from Sinjo. It was known by a different name. They didn't always live here. I think in an ancient Johto, there could be a lot of things that we could explore. Will we see the Kanto region accessible? I'm not entirely sure. Will the ruins of Alf be in their prime? How old are the ruins of Alf? It's a question that I think Legends Johto, which I'm going to call it for now, could answer. What will Celebi's role be in Legends Johto? Celebi is really the mascot Pokemon for Generation 2 to go along with Lugia, Ho-Oh, and Suicune. I think we could see a Legends game centered around Celebi and its time-traveling antics. Maybe Celebi's traveling through time is part of the connection to the people who eventually settled the Johto region. I think there's a lot of information we could learn about the unknown and some callbacks that Legends Johto could make through the unknown to Arceus and its presence in Legends Arceus. There's a lot they could do with the lore of the Johto region. We could learn about a time before the beasts, before the Burn Tower, and before Ho-Oh revived three Pokemon into Suicune, Entei, and Raikou. There are so many different things that they could hit on in a Legends Johto game, and they could still continue to plant the seeds of the origin of man in the Pokemon world. The Celestica people and the people who migrated from Sinnoh into the, the people who migrated from Sinjo into the Johto region are our earliest known humans in the Pokemon world and so much of their speculation as to how they migrated through this mountainous region is fascinating. Some of the fact that the people who live in the Galaxy Expedition Village, Jubilife Village, in Pokemon Legends Arceus come from the sea is also interesting because the accessibility of the region is something that creates some interesting discussion points around Sinnoh. Will those same discussion points exist around Johto? If people were migrating south into the Johto region, they would have to come across certain geographic landmarks such as the Lake of Rage. This is a lake that had does not have shiny, uh, shiny Gyarados. Shiny Gyarados was created through the radio waves being messed with by Team Rocket in modern times. This whole environment could look very different. Maybe there's people already in the Johto region that date back further than the Sinjo people. Maybe the Sinjo people are not the original settlers, and you get to see the dynamic unfold between the people of Sinjo and the people who originally call this land home, their traditions, their beliefs, their structures of worship of Ho-Oh and Lugia. All of this could predate these people. There's a lot of different avenues they could go down with a future Legends Johto game, a lot of lore they could explore. I know I pushed off the idea of Kanto in a previous point in this video, but I want to go back to it here. If I was the devs, I would include the Kanto region. I would include a deeply underdeveloped part of the world. I think Kanto is less developed at this point than the Johto region because of its geographic location and because of how you travel between Kanto and Johto and its location 
privy to Sinjo. I think you're traveling south into Sino, into Johto, and then traveling into Kanto. If that's the case, I think it should be an even more wild region of the world, one that humans have barely even touched. The powers of Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno are unquenched. They're not dwelling in their lairs. They're out and roaming the world. So much of Kanto and Johto's lore could be incredible to explore in an ancient part of history. And I think Legends Johto and its connections to Legends Arceus could be those big hints to the future of Pokemon games we're going to experience. But what do you guys think? Are you excited for a possible Legends Johto game? What legendary do you think it would take after? Would it be a Legends Celebi? Would it be a Legends Ho-Oh? Let me know down in the comments section below. I would love to know what you guys think. And if you enjoyed this discussion video, this speculation video on Pokemon's lore, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I post new videos every week. Don't miss one by turning on that notification bell so you will always be updated with a new upload. With that being said, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.